Hello darlings, if you'd like to see how to get these beautiful 1930s nails, keep on watching. In the 1930s, nail polish was applied only in the center of the nails, with the natural half moon and tips left bare. Popular nail polish shades included pale rose, light pink, cream, red and coral. The ladies of the 30s even matched their nails to their dress colour. You will need a clear lacquer, a cream or a light pink base, and your choice of red or coral polish. And most importantly, some circle stickers. You can just pick these up from any stationery store. You could even use little smiley face or dollar stickers. They should be the width of your fingernail. I am starting with my cream as my base shade. You can actually leave this bare if you prefer. So I am going to do two coats on my nails since it is very clear when I put it on. The beauty of leaving the tips bare when you paint your nails is that if it does chip, you can't see because you don't have your polish to the very end of your fingernail. So it's very, very practical. And once I've finished my first coat on my other hand, I am going to go over both of them again with a second coat. So it does have a really nice cream base. taken out my 10 stickers that I'm going to be using and you can actually use the circle sticker by itself if you just want a half moon on the base of your fingernail but we're not doing that for this tutorial I'm showing you how to do both the base and the tip so I'm just going through with a pencil and sketching a half moon across the stickers and I would recommend pencil because if you use pen you could risk running that ink onto your nail when you paint over it Once you finish drawing the half moon onto the stickers, you can then cut them out. Once all the stickers are cut out, you can then attach the bottom half of the circle to the natural moon of your nail. And then the top half of the circle to the tip of your nail. And make sure that you press that down so it's fully flush against your fingernail because otherwise the nail polish can leak through and it will end up being a bit of a messy finish. Once the stickers are firmly pressed down against your nails, you can then go ahead with your red polish and paint over the top. An important tip, as soon as you've finished painting your nails, you need to remove the stickers while the nail polish is still wet because that gives it a clean, nice edge rather than the nail polish sticking to the sticker and it kind of just, it gets a bit messy. I only stuck my stickers on a few at a time and I don't recommend that. I recommend laying out your whole hand, doing all the stickers on all of your fingernails and then painting them because with wet polish and trying to fiddle around with stickers, I did damage some of my nails and I had to do them again, so don't do what I did. And don't worry, if there's any spots that you missed, you can just go ahead with the polish and paint over that very, very carefully. And I found out another funny little tip from painting my nails like this is the sticker paper that your round stickers came off has like a grease proof feel to it. And if you did go outside the lines of your polish, you can just easily push that back in line with that paper. And using a cotton bud dipped in nail polish remover, obviously you go along the sides of your nails where you have overdrawn onto your skin. And once your left hand is dry, you can move on to your right. And this time I went ahead and put the stickers on all of my nails before painting them. 
and I was able to hold my fingers next to each other so I could make sure that that was the exact same width where I was putting the stickers so that they all looked even. Don't forget to push those stickers down. And voila, just like that, your other hand's done. Just joking, not quite. You still need a lack of both of your hands before you have chip resistant, beautiful 1930s nails. This is a clear lacquer that I'm using. It does look a little bit pinkish because um, the red polish has slightly changed the color of it. Be very careful and make sure that your nails are 100% dry before applying the lacquer because if it's not, you can actually spread the red over onto the white part of your nail and that's not a pretty look. And here is the final look. If you'd like to see more vintage content, feel free to subscribe. Thanks so much for watching and see you next Sunday. I make... Oh, I don't know. I'm really hungry.